بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله اللهم إني أعوذ بك أن أشرك بك وأنا أعلم استغفروك لي من العلم ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكينا ذاب النار ربنا لا تزد قلوبنا بعد ذديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله التوبة as we mentioned returning to Allah عز وجل seeking his forgiveness seeking his grace mercy and favor is something we're all in need of and Allah commanded in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu tubu ila Allah tubu ila Allah tawbatan nusuha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu meaning Allah has dressed the believers O you who believe seek forgiveness from Allah a sincere forgiveness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here again has commanded Toba has commanded us to seek forgiveness or repentance from Allah Jalla. And we already talked about the conditions for repentance. As we said, it is uh, leaving the sin, it is feeling sorrow, and it is having the desire to never return to that sin. Or, uh, yes, having the desire to never return to that sin. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said, in the hadith of Abi Huraira, and Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, Sami'tu Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, Wallahi inni la staghfirullaha wa atubu ilayhi fi al-yawm akthar min sab'een marra. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that was collected in Sahih Bukhari. Uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, I heard the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, saying, Wallahi, by Allah, I swear by Allah, verily I make repentance and seek forgiveness from Allah more than 70 times, more than 70 times daily. This is the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying this. What about you and I? So here in this hadith, as in some of the ayat that we've already mentioned, Allah, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned both istighfar and tawbah, seeking forgiveness and repentance. Ahabatifillah, what about us? What about you and I for all the sins that we do? Some of them, some of us are into major sins and we barely even make istighfar without even sincerity. Yet the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best of humanity, the Anbiya, the Prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, were the most, they were the closest to Allah Azza wa Jal, and they were the, the most adherent to the commands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and they sought forgiveness in Tawbah. They sought forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. What about you and I? We have to. It's an obligation because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, because Allah Azza wa Jal first, and, first said, first and foremost said, and seek forgiveness from Allah. Allah commanded. And make repentance. That's a command from Allah, meaning it's an obligation. So, make istighfar as often as possible. And I know it's easy for me to say this. 
but it's so difficult sometimes to practice this. It really takes a type of bravery, a command of yourself, a command of your nafs, jihad and nafs, fighting yourself to be able to repent to Allah and leave off the things that you're looking at. Leave off the things you're listening to. Leave off the language that you're speaking that's foul. Leaving off the backbiting, the cursing, the namima and the ghiba. Leaving off the stealing. Leaving off the drugs and the alcohol that you've, you've dealt with for five, ten years of your life and it's so hard to leave. Leaving off the cigarettes, leaving off whatever you're plagued with as a sin. It's going to require, the only way you're going to do it, no matter how much we remind one another, which is helpful, it's only going to be your azimah and the tawfiq from Allah Jal, first and foremost. It's only going to be your will, your determination to leave that sin really. You have to get to a stage where you say, I'm not going to have a girlfriend anymore. I'm not going to have a boyfriend anymore. I'm not going to do this and do that anymore. I'm not going to smoke weed that I like to do on the side anymore. You've got to get that determination. Azima. You need that determination from yourself. And you need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's tawfiq. Because it's tawfiq. How many of us have struggled with sins, certain sins that we involve ourselves with for years? And we've made toba, but then we go back. Some of us have made hajj, and then we go back. Some of us have made umrah, and they go back. Some of us have done all kind of things, sought knowledge. How many brothers and sisters have had the, the, the ni'mah from Allah? Allah favored them above so much of His creation. They sit with the ulama, they've done this, they've done this. But yet they do some of the grievous sins. They don't make toba. And another fa'idah about toba, habit is as as is mentioned. I don't know if the authenticity of this hadith. I've heard this. Uh, uh, you know, I I don't know the authenticity, but it's a hadith. It's mentioned. I've heard it mentioned by many ulama and seen it in the books about the toba of the innovator. That the the that a law puts a hijab on the toba of the innovator, meaning there's a barrier between a law and the toba in repentance of an innovator. What does this mean? This means a according to the ulama, that it's difficult, very difficult for the innovator to make repentance. Not meaning that he can't repent. No, he or she can't repent. That's not what it means. But it means rather. That it's difficult because Ahl al-Bidah, they don't realize that they're in Bidah and innovation. And innovation is a sin in the religion of Islam. Meaning that you're innovating in the ibadah, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're coming with something new. You're coming with something less. You're uh, trying to change the ibadah. Come up with a new understanding of Aqidah, a new understanding of Minhaj. Whatever the case may be. That innovating in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is impermissible because the Prophet ﷺ said, Men, Whoever does uh, an innovation in this affair of ours will have it rejected. So innovation is sinful and it is rejected by Allah Like the people who are celebrating the Prophet ﷺ's birthday now. It's rejected. They're doing all of this. Some of them, they have such sincere intention. They believe they're honoring the Prophet ﷺ. As a Christian, some of them try to honor Jesus ﷺ by having Christmas and other things like this. So they believe they're doing this. They believe they're doing something good. And they believe by you denying that you're doing something sinful. But in fact, it's bil aks, it's the opposite. That they are doing something that's rejected. Because it is not in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet. He didn't do it, his companions didn't do it, Tabi'een with Tabi'a Tabi'een, the Salaf Saleh didn't do it. And the Prophet didn't command it. The Prophet didn't do it for other NBA, nor himself, nor did those closest to him. So, strive your best to make Toba a habit of Allah and understand that it is difficult and we need Allah Azza wa Jal.